guys. Oh. Glenn Trayer here. Hopefully you can see me okay. Mountain Man Journals, Trayer Wilderness. What I'm doing here is I'm going to be trying to get me a little fire going here. Um, got me some lichen, some grass. Um, just kind of got some fat wood stuck in there. Making some fine fibers here. Sticking in the bundle of all that stuff. Um, like I said, I got some fat wood uh, mixed in there off of a. I found a stump over there. And uh, I'm just using some of that. I've carved some of this, shaved some of these uh, shavings off. And uh, I already have some down in there. But I'm just scraping that down making some fines catch but smell the resin in that big time all right so what I'm doing I'm taking some char um, laying that down in in there I gotta make some more char um, what I'm doing is I'm gonna be using the fire piston here fire piston that I came out with um, multi-flame tool to uh, get this fire going stuff that down in there nice and this is the fire piston that we're going to be using on the cabin to get the cabin built um, and I'll go into detail on that here in a moment that lit first shot they don't always light the first time. And I'll be straightforward and honest with you, you know. It doesn't always light the the first time, you know, first hit like that. It doesn't always work like that. But it doesn't always work like that for flint and steel either. Okay, we got some fire going. Catch some of these sticks on fire. Let them catch. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and be totally honest with you guys. So I think there's so much fake stuff that goes on in the survival world and YouTube and stuff like that. I got to thinking about it just a little bit ago. I should have kept it on there and showed you, but I didn't. Um, to be honest with you, I tried two other times to get that fire going and have it on video. Um, I had the ember, I had everything, flame went out. wanted to be honest with you, you know. Um, it doesn't always work out just like that. And I, uh... Don't think be too many survival guys and people that are in into that stuff doing all these videos and stuff like that that would tell you that. But I'm an honest man and I didn't feel it right to say yeah boom there you go there's your fire because I tried two other times before I finally got that fire going and I wanted to be up front and honest with you. So, but. 
anyways, with that being said, um, gonna move on here. What this, uh, this is gonna kind of be a little lengthy video, but I wanted to give you some heads up and kind of some details on some what's going on with this cabin that I'm gonna be building, the, and what the name of the series is gonna be, and uh, just kind of give you a, the lowdown, you know. Um, I can already see I gotta change this camera around. Here, it's uh, smoke's blowing, blowing into the camera. All right, now, um, what this video or this series is gonna be about is uh, I'm gonna be building this cabin. Um, and sure now I move the camera and the smoke goes the other way <laughs> that figures but anyways this cabin video this series is going to be called um, tales of the cabin or yarn I'm sorry yarns of the cabin um, some people might not know what a yarn is um, they think thread yarn well it's an old-timey word I guess you could say um, and it means tales, uh, stories about something, of something, you know, so on. Um, and that's going to be what the name of this, the, this series is going to be, is Yarns of the Cabin. Um, and that smoke's blowing every which way, but, but the way I want it to. But anyways, um, what's going to happen with this is I'm going to be using, like I showed in my one video, uh, the kind of the start of it, um, is what I'm going to be using is my axe, this saw, bow saw, uh, this is a fold-up bow saw from Wyoming Pack Saws. Um, and the fire piston that I created that I just used to get the fire going and uh, what this has on it for those of you that don't know what this is is it also has a piece that slides on as such and that will accept a auger bit I'll show you that just to kind of take some of the confusion out of it right like such um, <laughs> now what what is going to happen in this video or in this series and this is going to be like I said a lengthy series um, this is going to be I'm going to be doing the series as if someone went into the wilderness into the woods and they built a cabin with just the things they had um from the things they've found in the area, whether it's um, there's a railroad track not too far from here, and I know there's some spikes that are out that are laying along there. Um, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna try forging up some um, chisels and stuff on the fire. Um, I know where there's some old cars. Um, I can't remember if they have the windows in them or not if they have the windows in them I want to use them for uh, in the cabin um, just stuff like that whatever you could find out wherever you might be uh, is kind of what this is when I say gathering I'm gonna use this term lately I guess gathering out in the wilderness so you know it's whatever you can find um, is what I'm going to be using. Um, so that kind of go, you know, I'm going to try laying up a chimney. Um, that's a whole other ball game. I've never done that before, but I'm going to try and, uh, do that. And some people might say, well, sorry guys, my, uh, camera has a 10 minute, uh, 
thing on it and it shut off there on me sorry about that uh, I'll get back to you here um, like I was saying um, I'm gonna be laying up a chimney um, some people might say well, what's a big deal on that well that's a really big deal deal um, I mean it's it's a huge deal because if you don't get that chimney laid up just right that thing will smoke you right out of that cabin um, so you know this is kinda very uh, you gotta be excuse me very careful when you're laying up these chimneys and stuff um, I'm gonna be making shingles uh, for on the roof uh, with just axe and stuff um, it's gonna be a difficult road but I want to show that it can be done um, show how the fire piston that I created um, how that could just magnify the ability to do this build your furniture for inside and so on um, and I gotta you know right now thank uh, my father-in-law Jack for really helping me out with this thing on dimensions and stuff um, thank you Jack and uh, I gotta thank God for giving me the idea um, now as far as this cabin um, like I said it's gonna be all stuff I can find out here the cabin here um, is going to be uh, it's gonna be built right here where I'm sitting um, this is on another gentleman's uh, property uh, he's allowed me to do this um, so eventually I'm gonna be tearing the shingles that I'm making off and um, putting a tin roof on and also I'm um, gonna be probably putting some other windows in standard windows and stuff just because it's his place and that's what he wants um, so and the sun's bright <laughs> feels good though um, so like I said this is gonna be a really lengthy um, series um, I'm gonna be building all kinds of stuff I am gonna be using another tool um, that's in the works right now um, and some ideas the idea didn't come from me it actually came from Jamie Burley um, so I can't take credit for this thing. Um, I got to give credit to Jamie um, for that for this idea. Um, so uh, there's just some different things there going on uh, that'll help in this thing. But it's something that you would carry with you in your kit and, and everything. Um, so I'm I'm hoping you stick around and and tell other folks about the series and. And uh, just share share with it, everyone uh, about what this is going to be about. I think it's going to be pretty cool. It's building a cabin like this is always something that I've wanted to do growing up. And finally get the opportunity to do it. Um, my family's going to be helping. My wife, the boy, uh, my cousin, a really good friend of mine uh, is going to be coming. Um, out and joining me this spring Lord willing um, a lot of you might be subscribed to his channel and uh, you might know him as uh, Wilderness Freak 81 Brandon um, so he'll be coming out and hopefully he'll get a, be able to help me with his cabin and and so on um, so there's a lot of really cool things going on with this and I uh, hope you uh, you stick around and like I said share it with others and so on um, I'm gonna show you around here what this is area looks like a little bit here um, right here like I said right here is where the cabin is gonna be sitting right in this opening uh, we're gonna trim up some of the trees that you can see underneath um, we're gonna be building a corral uh, the old-timey way um, God's blessed us with a horse. It's been a long time since I've had a horse, and it's uh, good.
good to have one. I gotta thank uh, John and Michelle for gifting us with that horse. Um, so I'm gonna build a corral over here so we kind of do a thing. Like I said, this is gonna be a long, long series. I'm gonna maybe do some stuff, you know, uh, from uh, from. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get this camera set up. Uh, do some stuff, uh, you know, in the winter time, staying in it in the winter time, um, you know, hunting out of it, um, just uh, all kinds of all kinds of stuff. So this is going to be a cool, really cool thing. My wife's excited about it. She helped me come up with some ideas. My cousins helped me come up with ideas. Um, just uh, all kinds of stuff. This is. This is really exciting. I'm I'm really really excited to get going on this. Like my cousin and me are falling some trees right now for it and, and stuff. So I'm uh, I'm just all all excited. This is going to be really cool. Um, thank God for the opportunity to do this. Um, so I guess guys, uh, with that being said, I thank you for. Uh, watching my videos and uh, just uh, sticking around and uh, please tell others about it and uh, hopefully this will turn into something pretty cool but uh, well I guess with that being said guys take care God bless and uh, hope you and yours are doing well and uh, we'll catch up with you later on alright have a good one guys